For my exchange last year, I went to Munich in Germany. I went there to study my thesis. Uh, my topic was um, working with hybrid suspension systems, vehicles, and it was something really exciting because here in Perth, we, we don't really have um, a lot of access to the automotive industry. The university I went to in Munich was called the Technical University of Munich. Um, it had a German name, which is pronounced something like Technische Universität München. Um, they're a, the, the top university in Munich with reference to technical and scientific um, studies. Uh, on my second day there, when I was trying to find my project, uh, I bumped into uh, one of the professors there and he's asked me, are you okay? And I said, well, I'm actually trying to find a thesis project to do. Um, I'm really looking for something in the automotive department and straight away he said, well, there's two guys that um, have, are in charge of the projects here. Why don't you go see them? And he took me straight there and almost immediately I was able to find something. I think it was quite easy for me to adjust to the German culture, um, mainly because I've always been quite interested in um, you know, learning different cultures. I, when I was younger, I studied Japanese before, so you know, I've kind of always been wanting to go to another place and to live there for a while, see what it's like. When I went there, I actually decided to take a German course for a month as well. Ich heiße Chris und ich komme aus Australien, aus Perth. Um, ich spreche ein bisschen Deutsch und ein bisschen Japanisch und Englisch. I think that really helped because you know, going around I could ask some basic questions such as you know, where's the bank or um, where can I find the toilet which is probably one of the um, essentials that you need or you know, asking um, how, can I pay the bill or things like that. In the second month that I was in Germany uh, I actually decided to fly over to London to start a Kentucky tour where I went from London first of all to uh, Prague to Amsterdam, Berlin, to where else did I go? Munich. Um, from Munich, we went to Lucerne, Venice, Rome, Paris. Yeah, we got, I got to see a lot of Europe over there, and it was a lot of fun. I got to experience a lot of the festivals that they have over there as well, and. Um, just being able to be a part of the winter and the spring festival, which was a little bit like Oktoberfest, was a lot of fun. Being able to go you know, with friends and going on some rides, dressing up with uh, German Lederhosen, you end up doing a lot of uh, fun things. When I was at the airport leaving Munich, I was going through a lot of mixed emotions. Um, you know, walking with your suitcases and you're trying to suck in all the tears, but then when no one's looking, you're kind of you know tearing a little bit, and then. I actually flew home with um, my mate James who was on exchange with me so we we're both trying to you know, help each other, tell each other it's okay but um, it was um, really, I say a really um, emotional moment, yeah. If you get a chance to go on exchange, I would say do it, you're not going to regret it, it's a lot of fun, um, you meet a lot of great friends, you go through and a lot of new and exciting and challenging experiences. Um, if you have a chance to go, just take the chance and go for it. I think you're not going to regret.